Welcome to the LMU Sports Network. I am Mackenzie Kutsky. After the first week of classes, our fall sports are into action. Women's volleyball traveled to Oregon where they went 2-1 and one on the trip. They beat Northern Illinois, UTRGV, and almost knocked off number 14, Oregon. Sophomore Savannah Slattery and Emma Johnson were each named to the Oregon Classic All-Tournament team. LMU will return home for its next contest Thursday at 7 p.m. against Long Beach State. Make sure to come out to Gerson Pavilion. Women's soccer had a great weekend as they held their ground on Sullivan Field. With two shutouts, they beat number 17 Utah 1-0 and Columbia 2-0. Against Utah, Emily Carmen was the game's lone goal scorer. Getting her first of the season, she received a pass from Sarah Sanger and headed it into the back of the net. Sunday against Columbia in the 65th minute, Maddie Medved scored the go-ahead goal. Serena Bolden added a late insurance goal in the final minute of play. Congratulations to Coach Michelle Myers, who re recorded her 50th career win this weekend. The Lions host UC Irvine and Long Beach State this weekend. Sunday is Friends and Family Day, where we will recognize those who support our women's soccer team and help them succeed. Make sure to come out and support your Lions. Men's and women's cross country started their 2017 season at the Mark Covert Classic. All-American Danielle Shanahan was the women's overall winner. The second line to cross the finish line was freshman Alex Batia, who finished fourth overall. The Lions will next compete at the UC Riverside Invitational on September 16th. Men's water polo started their season at the UCSD Triton Invitational, where they went 2-2. Two two. Their wins came against Chapman 11-5 and Air Force 16-12. The Lions will be back in action as they face Pepperdine and UC Irvine. Men's soccer recorded their first win of the season as they recorded a 2-0 shutout against UNC Asheville. Goals from Griffin Bell and Alvaro Madrigal gave the Lions the win. Sunday, the Lions ended in a 1-1 draw against Penn State. With Penn State going ahead early, Cole Souza tied the game at the end of the first half with an assist from John Beauville. The Lions are headed up north to take on UC Davis and Sacramento State this week. Thank you for watching this week. I am Mackenzie Kutsky.